In chapter 6 of Matthew's Gospel in the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus taught his first friends and followers the Lord's Prayer, what I sometimes call the family prayer of the church. And I want to begin by praying that prayer with you now. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Jesus' instruction went on from there delving more deeply into what it is that was central, what it is that is significantly important, what it is that his followers should treasure as they learn to respond to God's love and to put God first. And five times in chapter six on that follow on, he tells people, do not worry. And in some cases, do not fret. Chapter 6 ends at verse 34 with that verse which is well known, for sufficient unto the day are the troubles or the worries thereof. We're reminded to trust God for each and every day. I've been thinking of that in this week when on Sunday the news that we were in Perth, in Perth, Peel and the southwest region entering into days of a hard COVID lockdown. The Premier said uh, today that there are now no new cases and haven't been for three days in a row. And if that is still the case on Friday, the full lockdown will end. There will still be some restrictions in place for a while. I sent a bulletin on Sunday and some more information out on Monday in which really we said what it means that uh, this COVID restriction area, this, this lockdown time, what it is that we've been asked to do and simply took the time to remind everyone that although we've been incredibly fortunate here in the last 10 months, we all have our COVID action plans in place. We have them to hand, and we know that we can enact them at a moment's notice. We've had to. We know that should the restrictions ease and there will be uh, some lifting of, of what we're currently under, we'll be able to carry on. We don't know what that will look like for this coming Sunday or the Sunday after. But as soon as we do know, we will put that information out across the diocese. We know that we will be able to go through this time. And while we do, we will pray that there are no new cases of COVID-19 in the community at all. On the same day, the news of fires in the northeast of Perth came to light as well. Bishops Kate and Jeremy have been making contact with parishes and clergy across the diocese in these days. In the bushfire affected areas, we've been hearing stories already of members of our parishes who are amongst the number of those who have lost homes. We're aware of many who have had to evacuate, some of whom have been allowed to go back already and others who have not. We will keep contact in the coming days with our communities, with parishes, with schools, with agencies. We will keep you all in our prayers and I know that you are praying for each other. We hope that in the days ahead, these fires will be brought under control and extinguished. We hope that in the days ahead, the news that there is no new community transmission of COVID-19 
will be made public. We hope that as we trust in God, we will know God's grace and presence with us. So let me finish with this prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you brought calm to your friends in the midst of storms and you give us courage in testing times. Stay close to us through the challenges we face today, the bushfires, the COVID lockdown, and all the dangers and uncertainties around us. In our communities, refresh the spirit of generosity. Guide our leaders in government and community to make wise decisions for the common good. Strengthen the people who are on the front line of care and services. Confirm in each of us our commitment to love our neighbour as ourself, so that we can live together with safety, goodwill and hope, trusting in the strength of your love. Amen.